six, nine, Hello guys, we come with another video to you as a comparison between the Creality's S1 and the Bamboo's X1 carbon printers. You might say it's not an apples to apples comparison, I'm aware of that. Well, this is an apples to pears comparison. So we're going to print this Benchy that I pre-sliced for the S1 and I'm going to use the sliced model for the Bamboo X1 carbon and it's a pre-sliced model that comes with the printer which is at 18 minutes or 17 minutes and something for the Bamboo X1 Carbon. I tried to mimic the same settings on the Cura. It didn't really work out because it says it's going to take about an hour to print but I bumped up the speeds as fast as I could to maintain the print quality because the print quality is also very important when you're printing stuff so the speed doesn't actually mean anything if your print quality is really bad. So we're trying to find the sweet spot between the speed and quality so we can compare it to Bamboo X1 Carbon. So at the moment it's been printing for 24 minutes and I think it has a little bit more to print. I'm guessing around 32 minutes or something, 35, 32 minutes it's going to be finished and then we can compare with the same filament that we're using on this S1 on the Bamboo X1 Carbon so that we can compare it to same filament settings and same everything as far as I could mimic it as I said and we're going to see what the results gonna bring. Get a printer that is like one third of the price with not many upgrades to come into well close to Bamboo. So let's wait and see when this is finished so we can do the comparison. This video is brought to you by PCBWay, your one stop for all PCB needs. We can design, prototype and build the boards your business requires at a price you can afford. Right now, four and six layer PCB costs have been reduced by 20%. The highest quality is matched by a quick order process and a 99% on time delivery. The best value, low minimum orders and a fast turnaround. PCBWay.com print is about to finish and it did so the finished prints look really nice so we say so I'm gonna try to get it off we have the print here so as far as I can see there is some minor problem in the front here but we will see it under the lighting so we can see determine it where the flows are so now we are going to do another test and this test is like almost a double the speed that we tried before uh, the other one took about 34 minutes to print so we are going to check if we can do a little bit faster well kind of double the fast speed but and then see as you can see this is really fast really 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 fast I think we're pushing the limits for an ended machine in general but how can we know how fast it is if we don't push the limits it still amazes me that a printer of the caliber of this ender 3 s1 can put out these speeds i'm not saying you should be printing these speeds all the time it's just for educational purposes just to see what it can but let's see if it can actually finish the print that's also an achievement so the second print has also finished so let me try to get it off the bit so guys i sliced the same uh, benchy for bamboo x1 carbon but i did something different this time i'm going to print it twice so one time I'm going to use a pre-sliced model that is that came with the printer eventually that is about 18 minutes and then I slice it myself again so funny thing is when I slice it at 0.25 layer height as the pre-sliced model of Bamboo Labs uh, Benchy is it came out as 34 minutes which is the same that we achieved with the Creality S1 so which is really weird so if you don't tweak your settings on the bamboo lap a slicer then i'm afraid you're getting about the same speeds as a well kind of tweaked cura slicer 
and with tweaks I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say kind of standard it's just uh, you tweak the speeds and this one is like you know using the same speeds as, as whatever like bamboo is using uh, the question is what is different on the uh, pre-sliced model I'm not gonna go into depth like that but I want to just print it with the same filament this model and uh, bamboo slicer says it's going to be 34 minutes so let's see if it's going to be 34 minutes and then we can compare those two but use a pre-sliced model that is going to print it in 18 minutes and then compare the 34 minutes to the 18 minutes of bamboo labs and then also the one that we printed with the s1 also 34 minutes so which is really like exciting to me at the moment so we'll just going to see and right from the start i see that the first layer is being made much slower with the model that i sliced myself on the bamboo slicer as you guys also can see because this is not like the pre-sliced model so i guess that's where it's losing time i guess that's also where speed aside there is another matter that is really important as i said in the beginning of the video which is the quality so we're going to compare those 34 minutes prints that are just without tweaks Kuras S1 printers slicer if I you know completely count everything it's going to be 41 minutes if you count from the beginning of the print until the end it's going to be 41 minutes but the print time is 34 minutes so that's what I'm trying to say so we have to count these stuff that it's doing as well then we come to about 34 minutes so now the print has started as going picking up some speed and we'll just wait until the print is finished so we can start the pre-sliced benchy and then we can compare it all together so the first print of my own slicing is finished and as you guys can see here 41 minutes total print time so this is finished now let's move on to the pre-sliced model which should be about 18 minutes so guys everything is finished the printing of the Creality S1 and the Bamboo X1 Carbon is completely finished now we have a very fast profile here which as you guys can see didn't come out really good this is on the S1 and as you guys can see there is a cooling issue here with a proper cooling it might be better but I'm using Noctua fan this is what it comes out and this was 30 minutes of print time this one which is really fast for an Ender 3S1 now we have another one here and I have to check I have to peek and this one is one that came out from the bamboo but I need to put this a little bit aside and then I'm going to show you guys another Creality one which is an S1 as well so you can see that this one is a little bit better well a little bit uh, much better to be honest look this one has a lot of imperfections in the front this one has minor and overall they look well most of the places that's been printed looks fine and kind of the same uh, let me zoom in with this one as well close up yes so this is what the S1 with a profile that printed it in 34 minute looks like. Uh, you can see inside here there are some well some filaments sticking out for some reason. I think it has to do with be printing too fast and not cooling enough. And if you look it through this side, it looks pretty decent. It's just the other side which is a little bit less, which is on the other side of the print the cooling's head. And I think that's where the issue is. Uh, I've seen on Creality website that they have a different kind of solution for auxiliary cooling and that is like three fans that goes onto the gantry and cool from the back towards the front and I think that eliminates these problems here so we have this so we're going to not compare this one but we're going to compare this S1 34 minutes against the 34 minutes which is this one of um, uh, S1 so bamboo X1 carbon 34 minutes 0.25 millimeter layer height and so is the S1 so both of them 34 minutes but of course the bamboo came out really nice as is this one and this one is the Creality one 
came out pretty decent to be honest but guys keep in mind this is a printer that cost now 350 euros this is a printer that cost around 1500 euros so if they both print at 34 minutes and this is the you know the difference in quality if you go slower on the Creality S1 you will get well better print quality out of it but I just wanted to see how fast and you know keeping like the quality on on the edge with the speed which is 34 minutes and as you guys can see if you go the 30 minutes which is just four minutes you see what kind of difference you get with my cooling solution that is if you have a better cooling solution you might get even a wave with better quality on the S1 just by printing it at the speeds that I've achieved today so that's it and now we're going to compare the 18 minutes uh, Bamboo X1 to the 34 minutes Bamboo X1 prints and you might guys might say why would you compare those two well there is a difference guys look um, I'm gonna try to show you very close up because on the 18 minutes version there is some ringing which is this one on top of here with you know you, there is no ringing on the 34 minutes it's just on the 18 minutes print um, as far as I know these 18 minutes prints has been tweaked by Bamboo Labs it's being uh, tweaked by them so they took away some uh, quality I guess even though you can't really see that there is a quality issue you can only see it when you compare them next to each other then you can see that there is a quality difference like, for, like in the top here this one 34 minutes which is this one looks sleeker on top then the 18 minutes which is this one looks a bit rougher on the, on the edges and on the top well it's minor differences but there are some differences and you guys might have you know bought a bamboo labs printer and just put it on print just the benchy that is pre-sliced for you and it has a reason because it's been tweaked if you slice the the benchy yourself this uh, 3d benchy yourself you will get around with 0.25 layer height which is also the pre-sliced one you will get around 41 minutes with uh, some preparation time so 34 minute print time so that is the achievement I got the, the time that I got with the Creality S1 on the you know I, I tried to push the limits on it as a 34 minute which with a kind of a decent quality as you guys can see but if you go faster which is 30 minutes you see what happens as I said before so yes uh, Creality S1 is a better machine than the Creality V2 which we compared in, in an earlier video before but this one comes well as some people were saying you can't compare apples to pears you know it's not an apples to apples comparison but yes still this S1 uh, printer is not apples to apples comparison if you look it that way because one is a 1500 euros printer and the other one is 350 euros printer so yes with or without some tweaks as a hobby user I think they can get away with you know a bit tweaked faster S1 and you get kind of decent quality out of it with proper cooling and for someone who is kind of selling stuff for people I think you better get a bamboo x1 or wait a bit more for a Creality what they got in you know in the up their sleeves because they are coming with the k1 series and everything we are got we have already k1 on pre-order and it's going to get in the channel and we're going to look deeper into that machine and we're gonna compare it to the bamboo x1 carbon and we don't have a p1p uh, we're just going to compare it to the the best that bamboo labs has at the moment which is the x1 carbon and i have mixed feelings about the creality stuff um because they tend to promise a lot and came and the end product has less but we'll have to wait and see because i hope this time creality has created a machine that is cheaper than uh, bamboo labs printers but kind of has the same quality or speed i am pretty sure it's going to be on par or even faster than the bamboo labs but it is it going to keep the quality as high as bamboo labs can which is very important in my opinion if you print fast and it comes out like this then it's a failed print in my opinion um, then speed doesn't even matter you can go slower but if you print fast and you can get, achieve print qualities like this as bamboo labs can I think you have achieved something because you get you print faster and you can print better quality which is awesome so still guys um, you have guys have to wait a bit more for the 
a K1 series to be on the channel and we can compare it to the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it because I enjoyed it as usual. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the thumbs up if you didn't like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Bye!